Hi everyone, it's Vicki and welcome to my channel and today I have a fashion box. I'm pretty excited about that. It is a box of tops I believe is what I asked for for summer. Uh, along with that of course comes um, a return bag. Let's see the return bag. Oh, it's pretty big. Wow, it's bigger than all the clothes that they sent so that would, uh, I think I could fill two boxes worth of clothes there. Oops, they're falling everywhere. And then I have my Hello Beautiful. So let's see what it says. There's my invoice. And then the instructions. Hashtag better as I am. Believe in yourself and you'll be unstoppable. And all the instructions on what to do with your box. I think if you're watching this video, if this is your first video, you may not know, but um, sub, uh, Fashion is like a subscription box, only it's not an auto ship. You tell them when to ship. They usually send you a preview of maybe seven or eight items and you pick five. And um, that's how it's done. Or you can just say, no, cancel that. I didn't like that selection at all. And there is a styling fee. And I think your first couple boxes, you don't have to pay that. Uh, and then if you purchase clothing, you get your styling fee back. If you purchase three items, I believe they're at a 25% discount for three. And if you purchase all five, I believe it's a 30% discount. I can't remember what the styling fee is right now. Uh, but you know, you can go to their website and check it out or I'll, I'll post a link before, um, below. There's always a referral and that, I don't know if that gets you anything by using someone's referral anymore since the first two boxes I believe are free, but it certainly doesn't hurt because the person whose box you use the referral link for may, you know, gain some sort of incentive, uh, a styling fee or something. I don't know. I don't pay a lot of attention to that. Um, I just know every once in a while in my styling boxes I have a credit. I'm thankful for that. So, But anyway, you're not here to hear all the details of it. I usually don't go into that and I felt kind of like I should once in a while. You are here to see this bundle of clothes, I'm sure. So it seems little and small because it's tops. Ooh, I keep moving the camera. I'm sorry. So let me start with uh, this. This is called a blue poncho top by Apne. Got my old camera today, so I'm going to have to give it a moment to zero in. Apne. It's very flowy. Uh, it's light. It's got beautiful colors in it. It says that it's Apne blue poncho top, size 1X, no, quantities 1X, sorry for $55. Oh wait, new discounts. Yep, 30% for all five, 25 for three or four. Don't lose your style fee applied toward the purchase. Okay. And this top is made from 100% viscose by Apne Apparel. And uh, it's just a big box. I'm not, not wild about this kind of style, but I am certainly willing to try it on. I can kind of see it with some white shorts or even denim, uh, frayed denim shorts. It might be cute like walking on the beach or something. So the next item is one of my favorite colors, navy blue. Let's take a look at this. Okay, it seems to have a three quarter, no, a short sleeve. No, a mid elbow sleeve with a bit of a bell. Feels like rayon. It has some embroidery. Kind of fall colors though for this embroidery. And let's see. Doesn't look super long, but it's probably longer than it looks. It seems pretty sheer here because I can really see through it. Even even at a double layer, I can see see the light. I can't see the camera though, so that's a good sign. But for summer, I think that's what we want is something light. And let's see what it's made from. It is size 2X, by the way, 100% rayon, made in China. And let's see Zenobia embroidered top. $28. So the price is really good on this. Super good actually. So let's see what's next. I'm excited about this one. Yes, I saw this on someone else's channel and I intended on requesting it, but I think I forgot to. Maybe I did, but I think I forgot to and I think it's just a coincidence that I got it. I'm not sure, 
uh, I know they're good if they if it's available and you request it. You know, I'm, they're pretty happy to send it to you. So it is a halter type top. Wow, it is pretty sheer too. Hmm. It's got beautiful embroidery colors on it. It is made by, what does it say here? Andrea by Unit, but this tag's a lot easier to see. What does it say? Andrea by Unit, Unit, high neck top with customized embroidery, $45. So I think that's pretty cute and it's long. Yeah, I think it's really cute. I saw it on someone else's video and liked it. Next, what do we have? It's open. Oh, it's like a kimono or something. But it doesn't, it's not. Oh, wait, let me back up. Let's see what this one's made from. Easy tag um, finding today. Sometimes it takes me forever. 100% rayon. Okay, so this one is the same brand, Andrea by Unit. And it is a kimono style. I don't know if it's called a kimono. It might be called a cardigan. It's got a little bit of a dip down. Let's see. In the front, I think it's a little longer than the back. I don't know if you can see that. It's got pretty colors. They don't always look great on me because they are that, a little bit that muted. Not terribly muted, but a little bit. And then the top itself is kind of a taupe, I guess. Not great colors for me, but... Um, I love them. <laughs> I'll decorate with them more than I'll wear them. It is called uh, Andrew by Unit, $42. So it's a cardigan or kimono, whatever. But uh, it's very cute. Beautiful embroidery. All up and down. I mean, there's, and then at the bottom as well. So it has a lot of detail. So it's very, very nice. And the last item. Is some sort of oh let me see what that's made out of another 100% rayon which works for me okay last item is a sweatery type thing uh, kind of boxy looking I do like the color there's the sleeves it has a little bit of detail not much well no that's just where the sleeves are sewn on uh, a high neck I'm not loving this I will try it on but I am definitely not loving it it's Andrea by Unit as well. Wow. Wow, it's the trifecta of Andrea by Unit. It is called the Solid Top with Round Neck for $45. So, there it is. I think the hem is just a straight hem. It's a little bit of a slit on the side. I don't know, at first it hits me as a little mature. I know, I may be old, but I'm not mature. <laughs> so, we shall try these on. So, be back, hopefully tonight. I'm supposed to get these in the mail tomorrow. So, hopefully in a little bit, I will try these on. Okay, here's the first blouse. Um, I think I mentioned it's not my favorite style. I'm not a big... Uh, raglan sleeve kind of person uh, this boxy I do like the fabric it feels the top feels really good and I can see it as something you can just throw on very easily with shorts uh, like at the beach or over your swimsuit even because it's pretty long but I don't know my husband didn't like it at all. I didn't like when I took it out of the box. When I got it on, I, I felt a little better about it. I get a, a close-up of these colors. See how pretty they are? And then the bottom has a darker design, which is probably, you know, kind of slimming, putting the dark at the bottom. But, I don't know. What do you think? Okay, that's a smile. I'm loving this top. What do you think? I think this top is cute enough to get me to wear my uncomfortable uh, strapless bra, which I'm not wearing in right now on the try-on, but I would if I wore it. So look at the pretty embroidery. It's, got, it's very colorful on, on the red with the tassels. I think this is a winner. 
You tell me. What do you think? Why does the phone always ring when I start to film? Okay, so the other embroidered top, um, it's shorter than I like. And uh, I think maybe a little tight in the bust. I think I would just need a bigger size. It needed to be longer, bigger, everything. But here's a close up of the embroidery. I think it's really pretty. Although, not very summery, springy colors. Uh, I do like the sleeve, I like the length of the sleeve and the way they're made. And uh, it feels good, even though this, uh, I would have to be a size up in something like this. But it just doesn't really say summer to me, but you know, it's nice. And if you're a shorter waisted person, um, not a shorter waisted, uh, I don't mean that because I'm short waisted. If you're uh, a shorter person, period, because I, well, I'm not real tall, I'm 5'6 something, so. But you know, if you were 5'2, this would probably be the right length for you. So, that's the top. Okay, the last two items. First is the wrap cardigan. I don't know what it is. Uh, it has, as you can see, that this hem comes way down. And it does have the nice design all the way around. I think there's a lot of attention to detail on this. I think the color is just wrong for me. Uh, sleeves are very comfortable, really. And I have it over the sweater, so I kind of thought, oh, it's going to be all bulky from having the sweater under it. But it's not too bad. I think it's, you know, a nice cover-up, cardigan, kimono, whatever it is. But uh, just not my color, so I'm not really into it. But the next item is the sweater. Now, if I can get this off. The sweater. Uh, the sweater is very nicely made. I will say that for it. Very nicely made. the little slits, nice sleeves work, it very soft. But you know I can see the woman who wears this sweater and that woman is not me. I can see her though. I can see her with her white either long pants or capris, starched, uh, Nice big earrings, uh, bracelet from her grandchildren, <laughs> but I just don't, it's just not me. Nicely made, a nice color, you know, I can say a lot of nice things about it, but it isn't something that uh, I would wear. So that's it, that's my five items. Let's do um, the hanger and bag portion of the video and see what I keep and what goes back. I'm back. Um, forgot to check my hair before I started filming, but oh well, you've seen me worse. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to see what goes on the hanger and what goes in the bag. Back to Opalaka, I think it is. So what is first? The first item I tried on. Now I have to say that I did like this more than I thought I would going in, but I have to remember that this isn't a style that I really enjoy wearing so even though I was impressed with um, I don't know the comfort of it I guess and stuff and the easiness of it I don't think it's right for me so I don't want to purchase it and then never reach for it in my closet I thought about giving it to my mom because I know she'd love the style but she also prefers the clothes she can throw in the washer and dryer uh, she buys a lot of poly or poly blend and she kind of avoids the hand wash lay fat, flat to dry type things. So I'm going to put this in the bag. First item in the bag. Next is the red halter, which was my favorite item out of the box. Um, I like everything about it except how sheer it is. That I'm not wild about. However, uh, I don't know. I think it's a nice summer top and um, I think that I would wear it. So on the hanger. Um, I'm going to tie it up here. I think uh, despite it being sheer, I think I would wear it. And uh, I do have a strapless bra. I need to get another one because mine kind of digs in me now. I bought it a long, long time ago. Um, so 
I like it. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it. And I could always wear, you know, like a, a camisole, a sleeveless camisole. I don't know what they're called anyway, uh, under it if I wanted to. But, I mean, the reason that you have something like this that's a halter and open like this is uh, to be cool and comfortable. And this definitely is cool and comfortable. And it's a lovely shade of red with beautiful embroidery. So on the hanger for sure. Oh, embroidery and embroidery. Okay, the next item is the navy blue top, which I just think is the wrong fit, wrong size. Uh, I think a person would have to size up one or two, maybe even two sizes in this. Not sure, but um, I wasn't wild about the colors on the embroidery. It just kind of reads too fall for me. Um, I like the idea of the top, just not the execution, I guess. So into the bag this goes. It is pretty and if you like the fall colors and you look good in them this might be something you like but I would suggest you size up. Next is the sweater. Now this sweater is nice. It's, it's very nice as far as I can tell. Very nice quality. Uh, the color is beautiful. It seems well made. It's definitely comfy. Oh it is poly rayon and spandex. So it does definitely have stretch, lots of it. It's not, it's not a heavy sweater in, you know, like you could wear this in Florida. It's just not, again, a style that I enjoy. But if this is your style, this is a nice sweater. It's, it's worth trying out if you have a fashion box and you like, you know, the style. It's worth trying this out because I think um, it's, like you say, it's, it's nicely made. It's comfy. So... Anyway, so for me, it's in the bag. So I have one more item left, and that is the cardigan kimono jacket, whatever it is. Um, not wild about the color. I That's not true. Love the colors. Don't like wearing these colors. Not my color to wear. So, again, I considered my mom, but... Again, it's a, it's something that she would, you know, might have to fuss with a little too much for laundering. So I don't know if she would go for it. So I'm afraid it's going to go in the bag. But it is pretty. Okay, let's fold her up. Let's put her in the bag. So that's my items. Uh, four out of five items are going back. It has wasn't my most successful fashion box, but... You know, you win some, you lose some. Sometimes it's right on the mark. Sometimes there's something off. These were, all of these items were close. But, well, maybe not the sweater. <laughs> but everything else was kind of close. Um, but not quite there for me. So, but, you know, that's a nice thing about shopping at home. I would rather take so much time at home, 20 minutes, whatever, try these on and not have them work, than to get in my car, drive to the store, um, Pick out the items, you know, get a dress, try to find a dressing room, traipse around with armfuls of items, try them on, you know, that whole thing. Uh, this is way more convenient than that. I would, if I went to the store and tried on a bunch of clothes and only had one item, I would, I would feel a little disappointed where getting them in a style box and only having one item, it's not disappointing at all. In fact, sometimes it's almost a relief because, you know, budget and all. But, um, yeah, I do like this item very much. And uh, the whole box was worth having the one item. So, thank you so much for walk watching my channel. Not walking my channel, but watching my channel while you walk, huh? Um, oh, speaking of that, I discovered recently that my iPhone spies on me. I accidentally hit something. There's an app on there called Health. And it popped up to the day that it was that day. And it was keeping track of how many steps I took. And I thought... I never turn anything like that on that I'm aware of. Maybe Pokemon did. I don't know. But anyway, so I started <laughs> flipping back to the dates. That phone's been watching me for a long time. I had no idea. So if you have an iPhone and you haven't checked out the one that says health with a little heart on it, take a look and see if your phone's spying on you too. Good night. <laughs>